Just mark some fish. We made it to Kekakabic Lake. It's 8.09. We have about an hour and a half to fish, so I'm gonna get after it. Put my chest cam on and see if we can't troll up a lake or fish at 15 foot. Might as well get both cameras going in case anything happens. Straight back up at it. As you can see, here we go. Coming up. Fish on the incline. 39 feet. And 135 feet of line out. Maybe going a little fast. a natural funnel up in here inside bend in between two islands and directly adjacent I don't know quarter mile away is 130 feet of water so these are the areas I like to target directly adjacent deep water pinch points saddles oh there we go there's a fish Quick. Found them. Mark. 100 feet of line out. It doesn't feel big. This might be our eater. Nothing yet. Holy cow. Oh shoot, is he still there? Oh yeah, he's there. Got a lot of weight on this thing. Oh, here we go. Now he's pissed. my drag he wants to run this little guy perfect eater it's late so I'm gonna keep it little small two of these will feed three of us and we're off This is the setup I got. Just the biggest damn Dr. Spoon, just about, that they sell. Barbs are pinched from Quetico. And then that was the first fish on my new setup. These new snap weights are incredible. I went over 35 feet of water. Probably had 125 feet of line out. Let's make another pass. There's a big mark, 30 feet down. That might be too deep, we'll see. That's a big fish. I'm just gonna go back and forth in this little island turnaround area. So if you see me reaching over and pulling on the line, so I can get that spoon to jump. So if something is following it. It is enticed because it looks like a bait fish fleeing. If they just follow it and it doesn't do anything but wobble, sometimes they just leave it. Got to get back shallower by land. Sometimes these inside turns generate a strike as well as the bait is just or the spoon is just fluttering all over the place randomly one of the keys with trout is alter speeds
or in Joe's case, an early lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it's good for now. It's 5.45 a.m. We just woke up. Day two on Kekakabic Lake. And now I'm doing some early morning trolling. Got a good trout spot that was recommended by a couple of people where there's a reef where it comes up to 10 feet. So we're gonna troll our way over there and try that. In 70 feet of water right here. As you can see, 50, maybe 60 feet from shore. Crazy drop-offs on this lake. Here we go, now we're coming up, 75. There's a fish. Fish on. Feels really dinky, like the other ones. Oh god, this is tiny. 15 feet. There we go. That's got a little weight. Head shake. Barbless. Just a little dink. I'm gonna turn around and hit that again. Thirty-five feet right here. Thirty. 25. Be a good cliff jumping spot. It's 45 feet here. Right there. There's gotta be fish on this corner. Think all the big fish are on that reef? They're definitely not where we are. So I'm trolling along and I get a little resistance. I honestly thought it was just my lure wrapped up. It's definitely a fish, another tiny trout. 120 feet of line out. I think it got wrapped up. It felt kind of big. But, like I said, I think that's because it was wrapped. Oh yeah, it feels like it's spinning. Ooh. 40 feet. Well, feels better. Yeah, looks a little better. <clears throat> Beauty. Really dark. Pretty fish. Probably another 17 incher.
Oh no. He gone. He's still there. No way. Oh, that's a better fish. Like an inch longer. Never mind, it's smaller. None of my hits have come from when my bait has been bouncing on bottom. Most of them have been while well, my bait is suspended. I don't really need to get that close to shore. I think these fish out here roam. A little itty bitty fish on again. Feisty fish. This is a much nicer fish. That's probably seventeen to eighteen inches. Maybe 19. Feisty. It's 35 feet. Feel small. Oh, he's wrapped. That was a better fish, another 19.
mind. Oh, there we go. This one has some weight. Another one. It looks like the same damn fish. Red fins, so pretty. It's a little chubber. There he goes. If you've noticed, when I've had a fish hit, I haven't got many of them on camera, but when I have had a fish hit, I immediately paddle at least seven to 10 times to keep the fish pinned. If you grab for your rod right away and the boat's slowing down and that trout is thrashing its head, they're gonna spit the hook almost every time. It's easier when you're in a tandem canoe. You can have your partner keep paddling while you grab the rod and you can keep tension on, which is the most important thing. As long as you keep tension on, that hook is going to be buried and that fish is going to be pinned. It's the difference between a 12 to 15 fish day and a 4 or 5 fish day. If you keep getting hit and you're losing them, it means the hook is not set. So the last fish I caught was probably over 70 feet of water. He was roaming. Maybe the big fish are out in the middle of the lake, just sight fishing huge areas of water. Sight hunting. Guess I'm the one fishing. Well, this is just gonna be a perfect day. Probably not for trout though. Water temp is currently, maybe that's air temp, 67 and a half. Bluebird sky. No wind, which means steady pressure. That could be good. Good start so far. Four trout this morning. All before 8 o'clock. Four trout. Yeah, I could hope for a 10 trout day. That'd be realistic going to be in the boat for 17 or 18 hours, so for the good start. Ooh. There is a mark at 25 feet, which is probably right about where I'm trolling. 205 feet of line out, two ounces of weight, and a light spoon. Another little trout. Can't even get it down to depth. It feels a little better. I don't know, they all do, and then they feel small. Yeah, now it feels small again. But I am drifting at it. 45 feet. Dead log. A little bigger though. Burping. Gosh, they're pretty. Okay, see ya. Fish number nine. This is an exciting trout spot.
and we haven't really had a bite in over an hour. We're just trolling back to the campsite right now. But the weather just shut the bite off. Just bluebird skies. Gusts a few today, but mostly no wind. Kind of hot, stagnant. Not good trout fishing weather. We will see what tomorrow is like. I think we're gonna head up to Knife Lake. Just because the fishing hasn't been great here. All small fish. Looking for a few big ones. I think we have a better chance catching big fish on knife. We also have a chance catching walleye, big pike, and bass. So that might be a fun day. four pounder. See ya. Yes. All right, with that four pound, 22, 23 inch lake trout, that puts me over 10 for the day. 10 lake trout and one smallmouth. One lake trout yesterday, so I'm at 12 fish. That was a hell of a fight. Felt a lot bigger than a 22 inch fish. That was ridiculous. It's a heavy 22 inch fish. Glad I caught it on camera. Felt good to throw that fish back. Let it grow. It's absolutely wild how I fished this shoreline last night. Marked every fish I saw. 
suspended or on the bottom. And I'm coming back over those waypoints today, 24 hours later, and there are fish there. Even big lakes like Kekikabek won't take you that long to scout with the GPS, as long as you save waypoints. Look for trends. Look for patterns. Just mark every single time you see a fish. Pretty soon a pattern will emerge. You'll notice a reef or a drop off or a wall. It's all data. It's been a long day. Paddling back into camp right now. Ooh, there's a fish on the bottom. It is 8.55, so basically 9 o'clock by the time I get back. We started paddling at 5.45 this morning. We've only gotten out to swim once, to eat once, and a couple of bathroom breaks here and there. Otherwise, we've been in the boat for like 15 hours. Eddie Lake. Hi. about 80 right now. There we go. Bait ball at 15 to 20. I think we want to be shallow, boys. I think between 15 and 20. 25 feet off to our right. Fifteen feet off our right. Be ready. There you go. I meant be ready to get snagged. Tip up. We're working as a team, Adam. Is that is that funny? Are we nerds? Yeah. Teamwork and friendship. <laughs> oh, so many fish stacked up. If we don't catch fish on this pass. There's fish everywhere, 15 feet. Pike. 26, 27. Ooh, that thing's buried. Cool.